Prince Harry and Meghan, they're caring, sharing, full of empathy people, right? Or are they? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me. Starting to rain again. That's what you expect, right? But as ever, back to your royal story today. Now, as you know, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have really sort of set themselves up at this caring, charitable foundation. They want people to, well, empathise with them. The things that they're doing, you know, they're really all about wanting to make the world a better place, saving the planet, climate change, only two children. You get the picture. But what's really shocked a lot of royal fans over here in the United Kingdom, and more importantly, senior members of the British royal family, is this. They would have expected Harry and Meghan to come out and denounce this particular project, which has hit screens recently, basically making fun of the very young Prince George, who appears in a cartoon called The Prince as a swearing, uncaring and pretty, well, nasty child. But where's Harry and Meghan's comments? Now, as we all know, senior members of the British royal family would never comment on anything like this. But given Harry and Meghan have opted out of being royals, you would have thought that even though they feature in the programme themselves and they can see how distasteful it is, particularly to our 95-year-old monarch, they may have come out and said, well, no, we're not fans of this at all. We know they watch TV simply because they mentioned the fact that they had seen episodes of The Crown, which is also rather distasteful and soap opera-like. But for now, according to good sources out in LA, it appears that Harry and Meghan have been told not to talk about it at all for the simple fact it brings attention to the programme and more importantly, they don't want to be associated with it. Now, if they were truly caring and sharing, and as Prince Harry claimed, very close to Prince George, why not at least release a statement saying we don't particularly enjoy the programme or we're not really fans of it? At least let other members here of the British royal family know that you're with them on that. Attacking a young boy, a defenceless eight-year-old prince, who can have no say in what these writers are putting into the fictional character's mouth. But we all know what it's about. Neil Sean in the heart of London.